en el Seminole Hard Rock Hotel en Casino. Esta noche, Fight Night Boxing, Pro Boxeo y Aquintity Sports presentan D-Day 2, una noche de boxeo profesional. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hollywood, Florida. Here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Tonight, Fight Night Boxing, Pro Boxeo, and Aquinity Sports present D-Day 2, an evening of professional boxing. Todos los combates están sancionados por la Comisión Boxeo de Estado de Florida. All bouts sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission. Your chairman, Dr. Mark Williams. Commissioners, Dr. Wayne Kearney and Antonio DeSisto. Commissioner in attendance, Marco Lopez. Executive Director in attendance, Thomas Malloy. Your physicians at ringside, soon to be Hall of Famer Stan Simpson and the Hall of Famer Alan Fields and the timekeeper Carmen Chiricello. Estamos listos para la primera pelea de la noche. It's now time for the first bout of the evening. The combatants will now make their way to the ring. And we are set for our first bout of the evening. It'll be four rounds scheduled in the light heavyweight division. It'll be Lanin Castillo taking on Alvero Pantera Enriquez. And there you see a good shot of Alvero Enriquez making his way to the ring. Tough Mexican battler, a veteran, Jay. He's been around for quite a while, and yeah. uh, he's fought a lot of good fighters. Yeah, orthodox fighter, Mexican grinder, uh, someone you can count on giving a good performance in the ring. 30 years old, five foot nine, has decent height. 11 and nine is a pro. They call him Pantera. You know you're going to get a good fight out of this kid. He is going to be a tough opponent for the undefeated Lanin Castillo, the Dominican Republic superstar. Undefeated coming in tonight, 5-0 and with three wins by way of knockout. Momentarily, he will be making his way into the ring. And the big crowd here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood will be on their feet. A big contingent of Dominican fans here to see this whole team of young fighters from the Dominican showing their wares and very much will be the future of professional boxing, Jake. Yeah, this is uh, the first Dominican Republic fighter we're going to see. The first of many undefeated who will be stepping into the cage under Herman Caicedo, and he's a light heavyweight. And this could really set the tone for the rest of the Dominicans here tonight. This kid is a big light heavyweight. Uh, it could be a long night for Enrique. We're ready for our first bout of the evening. Cuatro asaltos en el peso semi pesado. Our first bout of the evening will be in the light heavyweight division. Los jueces por este combate son your judges for this bout are. John Rupert, Bill Ray, and Fred Flutie. El árbitro por esta pelea, your referee in charge of all the action, Frank Gentile. And now introducing first, en la esquina azul, pesando 177 y media libras. In the blue corner, weighing in at 177.5. Su record profesional. 11 victorias, 9 derrotas, 2 empates y 3 ganadas by way of knockout. His professional record, 11 wins, 9 losses, 2 draws and 3 by way of knockout from Mexico City, Mexico, Alvaro Pantera Enrique. And now introducing out of the red corner in la esquina roja. Pesando 176 y media libras. Weighed in 176.5 pounds. Su record profesional, cinco victorias, zero derrotas y tres ganadas por knockout. Five victories, zero losses, and three by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Dominican Republic, República Dominicana, Eleni. Castillo! <laughs> Referee instruction, Frank Gentile.
Break, step back, clean, keep your hands up at all times. Good luck. Touch your mark. Getting ready for action here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. It's going to be scheduled for four rounds. Lenin Castillo taking on the challenge of Alvero Pantera Enriquez. There's the tail of the tape. You see the height advantage for Castillo, 6'2 to 5'9. Relatively even in weight, but the big reach advantage, Jay, six inches goes to Castillo. That could be key. Yeah, look at that uh, reach differential. Look at the age differential. And look at the height differential as well. Castillo's got a lot of things working for him in this fight. Enriquez is going to really have to get his game going fast. He's going to have to be aggressive, I think. He's going to probably have to make it ugly fast. Awaiting the bell for round one as we get ready for action. Going to be an exciting night of professional boxing here at Hard Rock Live. Dominican Domination 2. Here we go. Round one underway. You see Castillo wearing the white trunks with the red trim. Enriquez with the white trunks and blue trim. And already you can see the difference that Jay mentioned as far as the height goes, the reach goes. It's going to be up to Enriquez to be able to try and work under that reach, work to the body, and try and wear down Lenin Castillo. Although you don't have a whole lot of time to do that in a four-round fight. You kind of got to get to work real quick. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He's got to get in there. He's got to really take the fight to him because he's going to have to get inside, get past that reach. And, you know, whether he takes a beat and getting inside, that will be the tail of the fight. He can get it past that long jab that, you know, Castillo for sure will be sticking in his face all fight long. Interestingly, uh, Castillo being one of the few right-handed fighters in the Equinity Sports camp, the most of the fighters from the Dominican Republic are left-handers, as we'll be seeing throughout the night. But to Castillo using that long left jab, right now he's pretty much keeping Enriquez at bay, just popping that thing at will. The young prospect from the Dominican Republic under Herman Caicedo. A lot of guys watching him, too. He doesn't have any pressure on him tonight. You know, he's fighting early in the card. He can come out, set the tone. He's got a bit of a journeyman, a veteran in there. He can really let the rest of the Dominican Republic fighters back in the locker room know what to uh, expect and sort of lay the groundwork for him, if you will. A little over halfway through this first round as Castillo taking the first shot of the night from Enriquez, really powerful shot, good left hook that time, but still, Castillo has been the dominant fighter using that long left jab. Quick uppercut on the right-hand side by Castillo there. Castillo starting to stalk Enriquez. Enriquez trying to move away from the power. You could see the distance through that right. It was about a foot away. You see him, Enriquez asking the referee to warn Castillo. Good shot to the body that time. You could hear it thump all the way across the arena. Now Castillo opens up with both hands. He has got Enriquez up against the corner and is pummeling him. Enriquez still complaining about that behind it. <laughs> Frank, referee Frank Gentile says, I saw it. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, nice Another right good hand. right hand right on the button. A second right hand. Enriquez is already circling away. Enriquez feeling the power of this undefeated fighter from the Dominican. Oh. Good body shots, double combinations to the body. Enriquez trying to fight his way off the ropes, but he is really taking punishment late in this first round, down to 15 seconds to go. Yeah. Will he survive the first round? Not a good sign there, Bob. You're already covering up with 10 seconds to go in the first round. You're covering up like that. He's trying to go for the rope-a-dope in the corner. You're already in trouble. There's the warning that Enriquez wanted earlier as the round ends. That's the end of round one, a punishing round for Alvaro Enriquez. Outstanding opening stanza for Lenin Castillo. As we mentioned, undefeated. He's 5-0 with three knockouts. This is his first fight in the United States. He's fought in Canada and Mexico. We're going to take a quick look at some of the action from that first round with Castillo giving the beatdown to Enriquez. Well, here you can see the stalking started early, Bob. There's that right uppercut. And that really set the tone for the rest of the round. As you see that double combo you talked about earlier to the body. Real good discipline there from Castillo. Working the body, but not going too crazy. Just a nice little beat down to end the first round. You see there, a good shot of Castillo there. Very relaxed looking young man. Doesn't uh, appear to be too excited when he gets his opponent hurt. Really keeps his composure in there. 
You know, it's one thing to be composed when you're a 32-year-old fighter, but when you're a 23-year-old fighter, to show that kind of composition is very impressive. Second round action from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in beautiful Hollywood, Florida. Bob Alexander and Jay Adams bringing you this action as Lenin Castillo trying to remain undefeated against the veteran Alvaro Enriquez. Frank Gentile warning Enriquez to bring him up a little bit low. First warning for Enriquez on the fight. Again, a second warning. Have to keep an eye on that. Well, he keeps complaining about that shot to the back of the head. Oh, There's a quick knockdown. Knock. <laughs> quick right hand puts Enriquez down. I don't think he even saw that punch, Jay. Yeah, to the chin, just floors him. He's okay. No cobwebs, but definitely woke him up. He's really going to have to cover up. Watch those right uppercuts. Nice straight short punches by Castillo, especially with that long reach. That's going to equate for trouble for Enriquez. Of course, the three knockdown rule is in effect here in Florida. You go down three times in a non-title fight, and the fight is over. Castillo coming in, already has the knockdown to start the second round. Very comfortable. Just wading in. Uh, I, I hate to say it, but almost like a little bit of a workout for him. And if you look at Enrique, as you look above his right eye, and it looks like he has a cut there, but that's actually a birthmark that has been there basically uh, well since he was born so but it, it kind of looks like it's swollen a little bit but it's not uh, anything that you'd see with a cut vaseline or anything like that it's just a an unusual birthmark yeah as castillo wears down enriquez you might have thought that was vaseline over the eye and why didn't frank take care of it but that's in indeed what it is a birthmark and uh, obviously won't be an issue in this fight quick warning from referee frank gentile for pushing but again double combinations to the head as the jab in the right hand he just steps in with that picture perfect one two and it just totally destroys any confidence for enriquez really love the way castillo plants before he throws those combinations a lot of presence of mind a lot of skill set in there for a 23 year old enriquez who turned pro in 2005 he had a good beginning to his career. He uh, fought an unbeaten fighter in his third fight, Sean Estrada, and then things kind of went downhill from there. But uh, he has been up and down in his career, a veteran. Stop, stop, stop. Breaking the fighters is Frank Gentile that time. What a beautiful venue here we are, at Bob, you know, here at the Hard Rock. Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. You gotta love this venue for boxing. Some classics, as you see the right hand crashing down on Enriquez. Some classic matchups here. And uh, I think we're in store for another one here tonight. I think so, as Castillo continues to dominate in round number two. And that is the end of the second stanza. Both fighters heading back to their corners. Well, Bob, uh, I got it on my unofficial scorecard right now at uh, 20 to 17 with that knockdown in the second round. Of course, it is an unofficial scorecard. And we're gonna take a look at that knockdown in the second round that just kind of came out of nowhere. It was so quick. Crowd didn't see it, and I don't think the fighters uh, did either. Here we go. Here it is right here. You see Enriquez missing with the right. He just got clipped with that right uppercut right on the butt right here. Doink. Now here's where Enriquez will swing and miss. See that right misses, he tries to duck the punch, and it, it was right on the chin, coming up. When you see boxers throwing those classic combinations, you know that they've got a good amateur background because that's where it all begins in the amateur ranks. When you don't have much of an amateur career, it's really easy to tell when you get into the pro ranks. You just don't have the discipline in your style that you do that you get from all that amateur experience. Round number three from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Bob Alexander, Jay Adams bringing you the action. It's Dominican Domination 2 on Fight Night Boxing. Proudly brought to you by Aquinity Sports, one of the growing boxing companies in the world. We expect to enjoy a full showcase of their talent this evening. Yeah, I'm thrilled with this card. These guys have come out and said we're going to be one of the best promotions, and they put their money where their mouth is, and they handpicked some of the best fighters in the Dominican Republic, and they brought them here. Most of them are undefeated, and so you know you're in store for some real skill set out here. 
What's interesting, Jay, is that you can see on Enrique's face, we talked about that birthmark earlier, but under the eyes, he's starting to puff up. You can see some redness. That's the damage from the punches that he's received so far. Yeah, and really no place for him to go. You see him trying to dance out of the corner, but the reach is so long for Castillo, there's no place to go. He just puts one of those wings out there, and there's no place for Enrique's to go. Talked about the amateur experience of Lenin Castillo. He actually fought for the Dominican Republic in the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. He lost in the first round to Alexander Stretsky. But uh, any time you're able to make an Olympic team, it doesn't matter where or how far you go, that proves you're one of the best in the world in the amateurs. Yeah, a bunch of medal holders, too, later on in the card that we can look forward to. And that's that's what I'm talking about with the Quinity Sports, you know, fight night boxing. They really are coming right out of the gate. A lot of guys come out slow. They're coming right out of the gate and saying, here we are. Lenin Castillo continuing to dominate the action with that long left jab. Then he goes to the body with a nice right uppercut. He's really been mixing up his head and body punch. That's another thing you don't see a lot of in the young fighters, Jay. You don't see them mix their punches head and body. There's another right hand by Castillo. And once again, he's got Enriquez in a little bit of trouble. Beautiful straight right hand. Yeah, the, the punishment is really starting to pile up here now on Enriquez. Enriquez got one left jab in in that exchange, and literally zero happened to Castillo. Castillo's head didn't even budge. That has got to be disappointing for Enriquez. How frustrating. You finally get a punch through and nothing happens. And you can see some of that frustration on the face of Alvaro Pantera uh, Enriquez. Just not able to get through. There's another beautiful counter right hand. He waited for Enriquez to miss him and landed the shot right on the chin. Yeah, you know, these guys hate the title uh, journeyman, right? They'd rather be called veteran. Uh, but, you know, they got to win these fights. If they want to bust out of that mold, they got to win these fights. And I'll, I'll tell you, Enriquez is doing everything he can. He's a, he's a absolutely game guy. He's in there. He's swinging. Uh, but, you know, clearly outsized, outclassed. He's just having a tough time. And well, they say styles make fights, and the fight is being made so far by undefeated Lenin Castillo as we end round number three. So the fourth and final round on its way as Lenin Castillo again checking your scorecard, Jay. He's obviously way ahead on points. It would take certainly a knockout for Enriquez to have uh, any shot at winning this fight. Yeah, on my unofficial scorecard, I got it 30 to 27 with one round to go. Again, you never know what can happen, but it is unofficial, but it would take, like you say, he absolutely has to stop him for him to win this fight. All right, we're going to take a look at some action from that third round as the straight right hand, so powerful. There it is, bang, right on the face. Here we'll see it from a different angle. First the jab, then the straight right hand, and you can just see all the frustration of Enriquez as he has been pummeled from pillar to post in the first three rounds. We head to the fourth and final round as Lenin Castillo attempts to remain undefeated at 5-0, tries to make it 6-0 as we go to fourth round action. Castillo in the red trunks, I'm sorry, with the white trunks with the red trim. Enriquez, white trunks, blue trim. Well, three minutes for Enriquez to try to stop the flood, try to turn this ship around. Uh, but when you get really piled upon, that's the hardest thing. It's like trying to turn around the Titanic. You've, you've, you've dug yourself a hole, so you can't work your way out of it by just scoring. You've got to stop your opponent. The odds of that happening is this, you know, a stranger things have happened, but Enriquez is going to have to have the round of his life. Lenin Castillo trying to sink the ship in front of him, known as Enriquez. That's about the only drama left for him is to see if he can get a knockout in this round. He's had Enriquez hurt a couple of times. Had him down in round number two, had him hurt in the third round. Now let's see if he can finish off the show here before we finish off round number four. Two minutes to go in round number four. Three KOs out of five fights. He does have power. He is. He does have the ability to, to knock his opponent out, as do all the Dominican fighters. And at this point, that's what he wants, like you said, Bob. At that, you know, at this point, you know, he doesn't want it to go to the judges' cards. He wants to have the knockout. It's a great little punctuation mark for his visit to the States. And again, to set the tone, for his uh, teammates back in the locker room. He comes back, he gets the congratulations. He gets to have something to eat, kick back, and watch his watch his friends fight, knowing he got the KO. Just a little under a minute and a half to go in the fourth and final round. Castillo again landing a solid right hand. He's got Enriquez in trouble again in the corner. 
Pummels him to the body, then comes over the top with that right hand. Again, a quick warning for holding that time by referee Frank Gentile. Again, you see Castillo rip that right hand to the body. Frank Gentile is getting his work here. He warns Enriquez yet again. Uh, he's been very patient so far, but the warnings have been for different infractions. So, you know, you haven't seen two or three of the same infraction piling up, so he's not, he hasn't got a point taken away yet, but he does need to be careful because Frank Gentile will take, there it is right there. There it is. He is there taking is. a point away for holding, so that yeah. will only add to the uh, pain of Enriquez when it comes to the scorecards in about 35 seconds. Just before that uh, holding infraction, you saw a classic double jab right hand from Castillo, one of the prettiest combinations of the fight as he just continues to dominate with that reach. Has Enriquez on his bicycle the whole night long. Enriquez really never able to set his feet to throw anything substantial, Jay. Yeah, that's one of the other things that Castillo's doing so well. He's not letting Enriquez plant. He's not letting him catch his breath. He's not letting him think about what's going on with the final 10 seconds to go here in the fight. He's not letting him get off. Final 10 seconds as Lenin Castillo finishes off with an exclamation point. A dominating performance by Lenin Castillo. And as unless we get some kind of an amazing surprise, we certainly expect that he will move his record to 6-0. It'll stay at three knockouts as he's forced to go the four round distance. But you know, so many of these kind of fights, Jay, even though they're one-sided in nature, still when you get a guy that's used to knocking people out, when he has to go that distance, sometimes it's as much of a mental thing as it is a physical thing. Can I go the four rounds at this stage of my career and not get tired? Absolutely. You know, on my unofficial scorecard, I got it 40. I had uh, that last, I got 40 points for Castilla. That last round obviously was an eight. So doing some quick math, uh, 16 and 18. Right, so gonna... you got 36, 40 to 36. Now 40 to 34 for that gentleman right there, the big man, Lennon Castillo out of the Dominican Republic. He looks very confident. You know, his face has not changed expression since the minute this fight started. All right, we're going to take a look at the end of the fight as Castillo just continued to pour it on. You can see him just backing Enriquez oh. up at will. There's that jab, just Stiff. punishing all night long. Stiff left jab. And here comes the right hand over the top, just crushing right hand. I mean, you can see the impossibility for Enriquez. He had to lunge forward into a Superman punch just to try to get close enough to Castillo to hit him. And of course, Castillo punishes him on the way in. Great counter punching from the light heavyweight as well. All right, I think it's time to head to the ring. We have the official decision standing by with it is our ring announcer, Mike Adams. Damas y caballeros, un fuerte aplauso por los dos boxeadores. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for both boxers. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Rupert, Judge Ray, and George Flutie all scored about 40-34. For el ganador por decisión unánime, for your winner, by unanimous decision, Lenin Castillo. So absolutely no surprise as the judges, all three, agree in unanimous fashion, agree with uh, my partner, Jay Adams. His scorecard also 40-34 and a pulverizing performance to start the night off for undefeated Lenin Castillo. Again, moving his record to 6-0 with three knockouts. Alvaro Enriquez was game, he did the best he could, but just nowhere to go against that long reach. He falls to 11-10-2 with three knockouts. What? Just the beginning of action here at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. You get a look at the